In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize Minecraft so you can have the best experience for speedrunning in 1.16.1. Good morning, evening, night, people of Planet Earth. My name is Weirdingar, and today I bring you a modified version of a tutorial by K4 on the same topic. If you find any of this information useful, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. You'll find his corresponding video in the description and also at the end of this video. A massive thank you to K4 for allowing me to do this. In order to improve the performance of the game while remaining within the rules for speedrunning this version of Minecraft, we'll need a couple of files. Fabric, Sodium, Phosphor and Lithium. All necessary links will be in the description. To download Fabric, you'll need to access this site and download the universal slash jar file. Then you're gonna open it up, select version 1.16.1, hit install and then OK. For sodium, phosphor and lithium, you'll repeat the process I'm about to show you with the respective GitHub links. You only need to download the jar file from the latest release and these three files will go to your mods folder. To access it, you can type on your address bar percentage at data percentage, hit enter, then go to that Minecraft and mods. If you don't see this folder, you can create one, just remember to name it mods all in lowercase. Now you'll want to go back to the .minecraft folder and look for a file named options.txt. Here we'll change gamma to 5.0 so we can see better in caves, underwater and on the nether. And you'll also switch sync chunk writes from true to false to get better world load times. Now we'll go to the minecraft launcher, choose fabric 1.16.1 and open up the game. Now if we go to options and video settings, you're gonna see this new menu. These settings are for sodium and you can play around a bit with them and see what works best for your computer and right now I'm just showing you what I currently use. You can copy my settings and then start playing around with them until you find something that works for you. I also recommend activating your subtitles to get some additional help while speedrunning. This will be everything you're going to need to optimize your game for speedrunning and once again I'd like to thank K4 for allowing me to do this tutorial. You can find his video on the top of the screen right now. You can go watch it and show him some support because really I've learned a ton of things from him and I also plan to make some more modifications of his tutorials in the future. My name is Weirdingar, take care and goodbye.